Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Rhonda Mazeka and I am currently a student in the Master of Science nursing degree program of the University of Mount Olive. I will be presenting to you a short video on a topic that I have selected for my nursing course 610, Principles of Adult Learning Theory in Nursing. I will be talking to you about the Six Thinking Hat Method, which is taught in your nursing course 320, Introduction to Nursing Leadership of the University of Mount Olive RN to BSN program. For this Nursing 320, Introduction to Nursing Leadership presentation, I will be defining the Six Thinking Hat Method, how this method can be applied to nursing practice, and describe how the cognitive learning theory can be used as a guide to using the six thinking hat method to help nurses with their critical thinking skills and nursing leadership in nursing practice and in patient care. For this presentation, my goals and objectives are for you to learn and feel confident about using the six thinking hat method when faced with situations in your nursing practice that will require you to use your critical thinking skills. It is my goal that you will be able to explain the six thinking hat method, apply the six thinking hat method to clinical situations or personal situations, and that your critical thinking skills will be improved. Each hat in the six thinking hat method represents a different style of thinking. Each hat can be used as a tool to guide nurses when sharing different ideas, when faced with different dilemmas in patient care and in nursing practice. The white hat represents facts, what we know. For example, if we were caring for a diabetic patient and we learned our patient had a blood sugar of 38. The red hat is emotions, our gut feeling, how we're feeling, how our patients are feeling. A nurse may ask their patient how they're feeling about their illness. The black hat is caution kind of what we know about the current situation, how we're going to proceed slowly, how we're going to follow the right protocols to take care of our patients. The yellow hat is optimism, hope. As nurses, we're hopeful we'll get that patient's blood sugar back up. The green hat is for creativity. This hat looks at solutions to problems. How are we going to fix this? How are we going to make that patient feel better? And then finally, the blue hat is control. As nurses, we may use education to educate our patients on improving their blood glucose levels by following and being compliant with their medication regimen. One example of a nurse applying the cognitive learning theory in patient care is when they are educating their patients on the importance of being compliant with their diabetic medication. The cognitive learning theory can be used along with the six thinking hat method as a guideline for nurses to follow. The cognitive learning theory helps nurses to assess their patient's perception of the education they are receiving, determine what their patients already know about their conditions, and then organize the information to improve their patient's understanding of the importance of following a strict diabetic medication regimen. Sharing your ideas and opinions with other nurses regarding your patient's health care will help you use your critical thinking skills for gathering information. The white hat for 
getting in touch with your emotions, the red hat, using the appropriate plan of care for your patients, the black hat, caution, having optimism and being hopeful that you can improve your patient's situation. Being creative, green hat, coming up with the solution to the problems. And last, getting in control of the situation with the blue hat. Thank you for your time and your attention today. Please fill out a short survey provided by the Nursing Student Center and email it back to my professor, Dr. Jennifer Suggs, within three days. Your feedback on this presentation is important to me. This will help to improve my role as a future nurse educator in teaching other nurses like you who are seeking higher education. Good luck in your RN to BSN program. I hope you do well and best of luck.